was fun. What a what a great finish to the game, and thought it was really competitive. I was excited to see some guys making some plays, some uh, some individual efforts that really stood out, and uh, and like I said, just just the grit there to to see the one team tie it up and get a two point conversion and then go into overtime. So it was it was a lot of fun. I think the boys really enjoyed it, and and uh, and that. That's just another way to build the competitiveness and the toughness in our team. When you look at your team from where they were, beginning of spring to now, anything stick out, improvements that maybe manifested itself tonight that you saw? There's been improvements. Uh, I, I told the guys after the scrimmage tonight that, that uh, we certainly have improved from day one. And, and, and a lot of the young guys that run the scout team all fall are the guys that really kind of stand out because they're, they're, they're just out to make the most improvement, uh, getting coached every day and, and running our, our schemes. And, and there's been some young guys that have kind of emerged and, and positioned themselves to at least be factors and, and uh, be contributors in the fall. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot we need to do. We're not uh, at all where we're, where we're gonna need to be to play Rice, but uh, we don't need to be. We got 25 more practices or so when we start preseason camp and and uh, a whole summer to, to kind of get prepared. Our guys will lift for the next couple of weeks, uh, go out to uh, summer training, and uh, which is very unique. Uh, nobody else in America does that, but, but I think that's something that uh, you know hopefully creates an advantage for us, a mental toughness and, a, and an edge that uh, that's different. And then we'll come back and lift the rest of the summer and and get into preseason camp and get ready for what we know is going to be a long and very tough season with, uh, with a heck of a schedule. Uh, Coach, uh, your quarterbacks, uh, Hopkins played a bit today, but you had, gave the young players a lot of chance laws and uh, Tyler, and they look good. They had some good throws. We, we had uh, we had planned to do that, to play Kelvin a little bit, and uh, and he did a good job. He, he had the one errant throw in the first quarter where he threw the pick, but uh, – uh, just probably a very poor decision on his part. Um, playing the red jersey is a little bit different, a little difficult at times. To you're not completely turning it loose, and nobody else around you is uh, defending you is either. And that's not an excuse. He just made a poor throw, and he knows it. But uh, he's done a great job of of leading our team, and um, and, and being the guy that that everybody kind of looks to as. Uh, as the one that's out in front. He should be at that position, the success that he's had as a quarterback here. I was really impressed with the young guys, particularly Tyre Tyler tonight. I thought Tyre had a, a terrific scrimmage and showed us some things uh, that, that uh, really gives us great hope in him as a quarterback. I thought he had a decent spring, but tonight was, was really his best performance of the spring. And what I was most impressed with is when he gets going north and south, he puts his foot in the ground. He goes fast and, uh, and made some people miss. Very slippery. Uh, and as you said, both of them made some throws. And uh, just the courage to kind of stand in there. They took a couple of hits as they made some throws, and that was really impressive for two young guys. How do you feel your offensive line is coming around? You said you had Jack Sides at center, uh, Will Shoemaker on the on the other team. And Jackson Deaton uh, had exciting time, but he really looks like a tremendous left guard. Jackson's doing a good job. He's played a lot of football. But there's uh, there's a, a pretty good nucleus of guys there that uh, that I, I think are going to be able to offer us some depth. Who's going to shake out and be the starters? I'm not sure. You mentioned sides and Dean, but uh, Alex Herman's played some for us. He's played his best football this spring. Uh, Mike Johnson's played in games and, and uh, played really pretty well two years ago, and then had an ACL tear. Didn't have a particularly good fall. Uh, this past season, but he's played uh, really well this spring. Um, J.B. Hunter, I'm excited about him. He's an athletic kid. Peyton Reader's going to be back. Uh, he's been been hurt and had surgery. You know, he, he started games for us and has a chance to be a guard or a center. Dean Powell has had uh, a good spring. So you know, there's a bunch of guys that I think have a chance to help us. And, and then there's a few young guys sprinkled in there. Noah Knapp uh, as a center. Uh, I think really he's he's kind of the guy right now uh, behind sides and, and Peyton, if you're going to say. There's, there's the two guys that probably with the most experience and the best chance to play center. But Noah is just a tough kid, and I think he's going to be in the mix 
for this as well. So I, I'm uh, I'm excited to see them develop. I, I think they're a really well coached group. I think Brent and, and Pat do a really good job. Sean Satarnio coaches our tight ends, but he's very involved in coaching the offensive line. Those three guys working together. So uh, it, hopefully it'll be another good group for us. Coach, how do you feel about uh, the, what you're able to accomplish in putting the defense together? Uh, you had to find new off defensive linemen and linebackers. How do you feel the defense is progressing? John's doing a really good job with the defense. And the, and the similarity, just it's our scheme. It's what we've done the last five years. We're not making any wholesale changes. We're not calling things differently. So there's a lot of carryover for our guys. Now there's some new faces, but there's also some guys that are coming back. Um, guys like McClinton and, and Christensen didn't play tonight. We just held them back. and. And Riley, he didn't play tonight. And I know there isn't any reason to. Those guys have played enough football. They don't need to go out there in the spring game just to prove anything to us. Um, we got those younger guys, guys that were less experienced, some time in there. And uh, there's still, uh, Covington's got uh, plenty of snaps under his belt. And uh, we've got uh, Eric Smith and Kamonte Yao, two young linebackers. I'm really excited about They played special teams, but they play a lot of defensive snaps. But those guys are uh, are back. Jack King, Joe Stevenson, all of whom have had had uh, some some experience with us. So I, there, there's uh, there's enough guys over there that have played. That are, they're going to be confident when they go in there. They're not going to be completely green and rookies that are going to be you know nervous wrecks when they get out there and play. They're 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 uh, they're going to respond. Can you talk, talk about the work Rashad Bolton's put in this spring? Yeah, you know what? I'm glad you asked about him. He's a guy that stood out tonight. I thought he made some really good runs, made a really nice run off of that screen pass and ran a guy over. I, I can't tell you how happy I am for him and also how impressed I am with just the, the mental toughness that he's had going through our program. He, he's been on the scout team pretty much his whole career. We pulled him off the scout team last year when we started to get some of those fullbacks a little bit nicked up, and he came over and started to practice with the with the uh, with the travel squad, and he's just really improved. And he's uh, he's one of those those guys that they just keep you believing in everybody on your team because when you when you think I just don't know if this guy will ever play. There's a guy like Rashad Bolton. There's a guy like. Austin Schufert, uh, who played tackle for us last year, um, that just they just keep working and they just keep <coughs> working it out, and that's what he's done. He's had a good spring, and I thought he had a good spring game tonight. Coach, how do you feel like your team did in terms of just adjusting to you know being being able to play? Obviously, a little bit early on there was some rust, and even though you guys have you know a couple of scrimmages under your belt, it seemed like you know being in front of the lights might have had a little bit of nervousness to it. How do you feel like the team adjusted, especially when it came to that fourth quarter when it was going back and forth? I don't know if they were if they were nervous. Um, what you find in a game like this, where you split the team, that, that there's not the opportunity between reps for coaches to be talking to them and correcting. And you just got to go out there and play and live with the mistakes. And uh, and so that's different. And it's the first time for a lot of these guys to be uh, in that situation here in our program. We played some JV games with all the young guys and. And that too, really, or those are opportunities for us to get some some reps, and it's why we do it, so that they they uh, they have a chance to compete and be in these situations. I thought they handled it well. We just made some bonehead errors. We jumped off sides on offense and had some penalties we certainly could have avoided. I, you know, I'm always talking to the guys about foolish penalties and the fact that we control those and, and have to eliminate them. Um, but I, it's overall, I. I couldn't be happier with the way our whole team competed tonight. Like I said, to, to go into overtime in the spring game and just the energy and the excitement that it was it was great. It was a lot of fun. It was fun to see our guys take it seriously and go out there and play uh, with some with some with some competitiveness and uh, and they were going at it. I mean, they're playing and, and trying to win. So, but I think that's that's the personality of our team. I mean, you've brought up the coaches before. Just how do you feel like some of the coaches, especially the newer ones, did in terms of this in-game situation? I, it was tough for me to evaluate 
really the interactions of the coaches with the, with the players. I stood behind the offense the whole game, and I didn't want to, to get involved with either side. Really just wanted to, to watch our guys compete. There's a few times that I walked in there and, and, uh, and talked to guys on both sides, guys on special teams about some things I saw. And, uh, and most of that had to do with effort and, uh, and, and, and playing physical. Uh, but there, as uh, the black squad was going in to score on the, on the, uh, the last drive with, with less than a minute to go, I went over there and just wanted to hear what the calls were and, and talk to those guys about the importance of, of finishing the drive. And, and uh, in, the, in the same regard, I went over to the white on the next time out and talked to them about you know, getting stopped and winning the game right here. And, and uh, you could see that look in their eye. And, and uh, the coaches are doing a really good job of, of teaching and, and, uh, and, and coaching our guys off. I, Coach Hackman and, and Coach Lisa coached together before. And they were together for several years at Lafayette. Know each other well. I think that's a really good uh, working relationship there. And Coach Lewis is uh, is new. None of us have worked with him before, but um, just the recommendations that we were given from people we trust, and he's just exactly what people said he was. He's he's a really good teacher, very thorough. Uh, our our kids really like him and respond to him. And, you know, we lost. We lost two really good coaches on defense. Jay and Chad were outstanding coaches, and I've said it before, but you know, it's college football, and and there's a lot of good coaches out there, and, and these guys are, are fitting in well, and excited to see them as as they develop in our program and learn our kids more. It's hard to do that in 15 practices, but uh, over the course of time, you know, they're they're going to get settled in their position. And, I think the culture of our program helps. We've got kids that work, kids that believe in our staff and believe in coaching and, and trust us. And so they're going to listen and trust those coaches.